Salam namaste, thank you so much for clicking on this video. As always, welcome to Reaction Check. Now, now, one thing that you always have to keep in mind and attention to your whole life, you will have to focus on what kind of people you attract on your side, which kind of people you like, which kind of people you want to meet with, which kind of people you want to meet with, which kind of people you want to meet with, which kind of people you want to meet with, which kind of people you want to meet with. It's very important because you will get to know from this that you know what kind of a person you are and what kind of things you do that attract the kind of people that you, that you have in your life. It's very important to pay a little attention to it. You will have to pay a little attention to it. Um, what I'm trying to say here is that through these videos, through uh, through this reaction channel, through this reaction check uh, YouTube channel, um, I've I've I think I've I've gathered a community of people who are very intellectual, who are very smart people, or just like the videos I recommend, or um, just like they give me knowledge, I get an idea of what's going on in the world and what's going on around me, which is really good. I mean, I'm really I'm really glad that. Um, people like you are watching these videos and recommending these videos to me, which is amazing. Um, I've, I've done a few videos, like I did, I did a few videos on transgenders. Um, I'll put the, the link here somewhere here. There are some other videos also on my channel. You can take a look at them. If you are new to this channel, I upload videos almost every day, and uh, you're welcome to the channel if subscribe and enjoy the videos. Oh, जो आज की मैं वीडियो लाया हूँ आप लोगों के लिए, वो एक पोइट्री है. Uh, is there's a channel called uh, Unerased Poetry, um, and they've got a few um, poetry videos like. I'm a Ghalib fan. If you haven't read Ghalib, you should really read Ghalib. Uh, Faiz Ahmed Faiz is a great poet. There are many of your old lyricists, like Javed Akhtar writes really nice poetry. Um, there are many of your old lyricists, like Javed Akhtar writes really nice poetry. Glad that he's still still around. बहुत सारे हैं। We'll talk about that some other day. But this is modern poetry. This is most. This poetry is very relevant to to our society today. And the one that I'm going to actually review today is basically "Right to Pleasure" by Priya Malik. My body is not a temple. Anirais poetry. Now this was recommended. This was highly recommended by some of the subscribers. They they recommended these videos on 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 Instagram. So I'm actually taking some time out to actually do some reaction videos to these. Let's see what we have inside here, and then we can actually talk about these. Right to pleasure, Priya Malik. Dear men, here are a few definitions that might help. Choice. It is a noun, pronounced as ch or uh, ois, and is defined as the act of choosing between two or more possibilities, one being a yes and the other being a no. When you ask us, or rather, if you ask us, before you fuck us, which brings me to the next definition: consent. It is a noun and a verb, pronounced as ka and sent, and is described as the act of giving permission for something to happen, and that something is supposed to be a source of pleasure both for you and for her. Which brings me to you, dear women. Here are a few definitions that might help. Pleasure. It is a noun, a verb, an adjective, and pronounced as pleasure, and is defined as a feeling of satisfaction and enjoyment. And if exploring your body gives you that satisfaction, then you have the right to that enjoyment. Which brings me to the next definition: right. It is a noun, a verb, an adjective, an adverb, and even an exclamation pronounced as right, and is defined as the moral or legal entitlement to have or do something. Having could mean having an orgasm, masturbating your way into it, without being told that it is not your body to explore. Not your body to explore? Then ask yourself if it belongs to that young boy who brushed his hand on your backside of the school bus, or to that old man who groped you in broad daylight, or maybe to that uncle who rubbed his hand on your breasts in the safety of your own home, but not yours. Your body is not a temple, neither sacred nor holy. It is a graveyard of societal conventions, tombstones inscribed with centuries of shame, of being told that being sexual is a bad thing. Ha ha. Dear men, did you know that in female genital mutilation, the clitoris, the vulva, and the labia are removed, leaving a small hole only for urine and menstruation? And before you ask me if the ovaries are removed too, no, they are kept intact. Dear women. Did you know that you're not just a machine to produce children, not just a body to stay still while he fucks you? You're not a slut just because you know your body. You should know what pleases you, but you're not there to plead, dear men. Ask. 
ask us about our choices, ask us for consent, ask us about our clitoris and our collarbones. And before you even try to touch us, ask us how we touch ourselves and we will tell you. As we touch ourselves, as we orgasm, not once, not twice, not thrice, but multiple times as we say this, that it is with our choice and not without our consent, that it is our right to exercise our pleasure and our pleasure to exercise that right. Your lesson is now complete. Okay. Uh, that was that was really intense. Uh, she spoke about women. She spoke about uh, how women are treated in uh, in our society. Um, we still need to learn a lot. I mean, it, it takes time for us to accept. Uh, certain things because um, we're not there yet uh, uh, when it comes to uh, from a societal uh, point of view we're not there yet to to actually accept these things I'm really um, touched by by what she said and I hope you know through I mean I'm nobody to actually say anything here whatever she said is absolutely you know is mind-blowing I mean people people need to realize what exactly is going on uh, with our women um, uh, you know, if you've got a sister, you've got a mother, you've got a wife, you 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 know how, how how they are being treated in our society, and we just need to give them more empowerment. We need to empower our women because a woman will basically make the next generation. If your mother educated, then your children will be educated, and they will have a little bit of understanding of their surroundings. We have ignored this for a long time. We have ignored this for a long time. We have ignored this for a long time. पैदा होते ही जलाया है पैदा होते ही दफनाया है जिसकी वजह से काफ़ी सारा यू नो नुकसान हुआ ह्यूमन राइट्स वायलेशन हुई इट्स नॉट जस्ट आई एम नॉट जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिया आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस इंटायर रीजन दैट वी हैव पाकिस्तान इंडिया आर आई डोंट नो इफ इफ द सेम थिंग हैज़ हैपन इन अफगानिस्तान आई कैन नॉट स्पीक फॉर दैम बट बट द थिंग इज़ दैट everybody is equal everybody is is made equal i did a video on transgenders um they also facing a very very difficult time in in our society um which is not really um very conducive how would you feel if somebody were to treat you like um like a third citizen or or a person who doesn't have a lot of rights or or maybe impose things on to you i hope i hope through these uh, poetry videos like we get a lot more understanding of the women's perspective stand up comedy is one way to actually uh, bring out certain perspective uh, and poetry is another way to basically uh, you know tell the people in the society that hey this is something that is going on in the society and you need to take action against this not just close your eyes and not do anything i don't know what you what are your guys uh, thoughts on on this uh, Uh, poetry session that I watched right to pleasure. Uh, I would love to hear your your opinions, your comments. Just put them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to actually reply to them, and uh, so that we can have a conversation and see what we have, uh, uh, you know, in the future. Uh, like always, thank you so much for watching this video, subscribing to the channel, and like. Until next time, until next video. Goodbye, Tata, Namaste, and adios.